done. But it won't look shiny and new for long, because it'll be digging the dirt very soon. Toffee is a confection traditionally made of caramelised sugar or molasses and butter. There are many different varieties, soft and chewy or hard and brittle. English toffee is very buttery and typically covered in nuts. Easy to see why it's called English toffee. This English toffee is completely free from dairy ingredients, making it ideal for toffee lovers with certain dietary requirements. This small confectioner makes their special toffee recipe entirely by hand, one small batch at a time. They start by combining water and sugar, which they heat until the sugar dissolves. They add their own secret formula. All they'll tell us is that it contains a combination of vegetable oils and fats, which are the non-dairy substitutes, and beta-carotene to give the toffee that familiar golden color. They add an emulsifier called lecithin to stabilize all of these ingredients. As soon as the mixture reaches the boiling point, they add salt to enhance the flavor and help force a rapid boil. The boil continues for several hours until the mixture hits a top secret target temperature. By that point, most of the water has evaporated, leaving a sweet and thick liquid toffee. Now they open a hot water valve, which releases water to heat up a table, then carefully pour the toffee onto the surface. The heat ensures that the toffee is pliable while it's spread out. The spreading continues until the toffee sheet is approximately the same thickness. Naturally, the thickness varies, but that lack of uniformity is all part of the charm of handmade toffee. They take a tool with multiple cutting discs and run it over the toffee sheet in one direction, then in the other. They close the hot water valve and open the cold water one, which cools the surface of the table and hardens what are now toffee squares. Within a few minutes, the squares are hard enough to be broken apart. Now two additions, which will turn this into English toffee. Firstly, semi-sweet chocolate. Once this tempering machine heats it to the right consistency, a pump feeds it to a machine, which coats the toffee squares in two stages. With the underside now coated, the squares move onto a refrigerated belt, which rapidly hardens the chocolate. The next station covers the other side with chocolate. As the now fully coated squares exit the machine, the belt vibrates, shaking off the excess chocolate. move on to another refrigerated belt and a worker manually sprinkles them with the second ingredient, chopped pecans. The squares travel through a cooling tunnel for several minutes to set. As they reach the end of the line, Excess nuts drop off and they're collected, ready to be sprinkled onto new squares. Some English toffee recipes call for almonds rather than pecans, but the idea is the same. Layering sweet and crunchy toffee, smooth and creamy chocolate and coarsely chopped nuts. And just like other sweets and treats, 
English toffee is heaven to anyone with a sweet tooth. But hell, of course, for their dentist. Open wide 